What's up guys, hope you're having an amazing day. It is currently March 29th and with all the negativity going around, I thought I'd do something really nice and really fun and try to brighten your day. So my video today is gonna to be a challenge to everyone that watches it. It's gonna be a driveway mile where you have to run a mile in your driveway. The rules are simple, you must wear a watch and you have to do it all in your driveway. I saw this video a couple days ago on YouTube and it kind of inspired me to make my own. I'm not really sure how fast I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go for eight minutes or under eight minutes, but I really have no idea what to expect. I'm gonna be running in my Nike Infinity Runs because those shoes have felt great and been good to me. And when it comes to this challenge, I think I have a little advantage over most people because I think my driveway is a little bit longer than the average driveway. And I'm sure some of you guys have a lot longer driveways than me, so I'm gonna have to pick up the pace to try to beat you guys. And it's also very windy outside. I really don't know where I'm gonna place the two cameras without them blowing over, but I'm gonna do the best I can. The wind outside is 29 miles per hour, which is insane. I can't remember the last time that it's been that high, actually. As of right now, I'm going to go outside and do this challenge, but right now, I want you guys to go down, I'm going to put a Bible verse on screen, and when I do that, I want you guys to go down there and comment below what you think my mile is going to be. And whoever gets the closest comment, I'm going to go to Instagram and give them a shout out, and also follow me on Strava at Reese Skips. I'm going to try my best to post as much as possible on Strava. So comment down below, I'll be back when I'm outside. I had to stop because it said I was going 12 minutes per mile. I know that's not right. So I'm gonna get my phone, download an app, and use my phone to see if that works better than my watch. I don't know what's, what's wrong with it. All right, so I ran a 12 minute mile, and I know that's not accurate. So now I'm measuring out the driveway for tomorrow's video. I'm gonna try to break 12 minutes. So I decided to do the math. My driveway was 95 feet long, and I know that a mile is 5,280. So I divide that by mile, and it's 55 times down. I rewatched my whole entire time lapse video, and I went down at least 95 times, which means that I went an extra 40%. And if you take that off, it's five minutes and 20 seconds which leaves me around seven minutes for what my mile should have been. And correct me if I'm wrong with this math. All right guys, so I just finished my mile in the driveway and it was pretty disappointing. The first try I tried my Apple Watch and it seemed to not be working. So I stopped short at like four minutes and I tried my phone GPS and it also said I was going 12 minute mile pace, which was really weird. And I'm not sure if that's accurate. I choose to believe that it's not accurate. I'm gonna try it again tomorrow. I actually measured the driveway with my mom just now and we figured out it's 95 feet. So I'm gonna do the math and divide that and see how many times I have to go down and back. So we can actually get an accurate measure for how long a mile is. I'm gonna try it tomorrow. I think maybe today the wind affected it a little bit or the trees that are around my house. So measuring out the driveway, the old fashioned way is gonna be a lot more accurate than using my watch or my phone. But yeah, maybe I'm just totally wrong and I actually did run that slow, but it really did not feel like I was running slow. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a like and subscribe. I know it was a pretty short video, but I should make a better video tomorrow about this and hopefully I can break 10 minutes for this video. So I will see you guys next time. Make sure you're staying safe and staying blessed. I will see you guys next time.